This is the brand new Jeep Cherokee. And the first thing we notice is the gleaming chrome on that bonnet. Quite a nice touch, quite distinctive. Certainly sets it apart from the competition. Look at those thin lights as well. And yet it's surprising when you're behind the wheel, they throw out a, a, an awful lot of light. And you've got the shiny chrome wheels. Again, very distinctive. Would you ever want to take this off-road? Well, certainly if you do, it's very capable. Don't know if the sunlight will let you have a look at the booth. It's got keyless entry, so that's quite helpful. And that's pretty cavernous, isn't it? Not often these days that you get a full-size spare tyre, either. And, if we push that button, twice. It'll go down. And if we push it twice again, it'll open up. Which is rather flash, isn't it? Good, good amount of room in the back here. Nice comfy black leather interior. And inside, what a luxurious existence. So if we turn that on, oh, we move forward with the electric seat. Certainly a luxurious vehicle. Yeah, have a look at that large glass panoramic roof. I think these are great because it really does let a vast amount of light into an otherwise fairly dark cabin. And it's also a sunroof. That's a neat touch, especially on a day like today. Now what I, I find quite enjoyable about this car is that you really have to think um, and sort of research what you can do in it. You know, normally you can sit in a vehicle and um, you know what you're doing. But with this, it's a bit different. I find, you know, most of the controls are not where they usually are. And it does take a little bit of deduction, which is no bad thing. So that button opens the boot, as you can hear. I wonder if it will shut it. So it's very effective. Will it shut it? It does. So that's very helpful. That button there does your wing mirrors. Another helpful touch, having power folding wing mirrors. You've got all round electric windows. All the usual refinements, cruise control. Air conditioning. There's satellite navigation. Quite a helpful touch screen here.
And when we start her up, you just put your foot on the brake, you push the start-stop button there, and you can hear it's a diesel, 2.2 litre diesel. It's pretty swift, do 0 to 60 in around 8.5 seconds. You've got a good high up driving position. That's for your phone. That's a massive cubby hole, isn't it? And your CD player there. But of course, the beauty of a Jeep is that it'll off road. So you have an easy to operate control there for your snow, sport, and sand or mud mode. Not quite sure what that button does, let's have a look. Aha, uh -huh. I thought it might do that. Hmm, interesting. You also have lane departure helpful bleeps for reversing and also let me show you if you do reverse yeah there we are so all in all despite its fairly large size it's pretty easy to uh, to drive and maneuver